Well, hello there. This is Super Anti Guy, and I am starting fresh with a new game called Drill Dozer. It's a game. Uh, it's a Nintendo game. It's made by Game Freak, who are better known for the Pokemon series. This game isn't very well known, though. It's uh, it's pretty fun. I haven't. Uh, I'm just gonna do the first area in this video. It's called Skulker Hideout. That's because the rival gang of the main character in this game is the Skulkers. It'll all be explained in this right here. There's the main character. Her name's Jill, and she has pink hair, which is kind of odd. Looks like we're here. The red diamond those evil skulkers took from us has to be in this hideout. They're probably waiting for you, so watch yourself in there. Guillermo and I will be supporting you from back here at the trailer. Call us with your drill dozer's comm system if you get into trouble. She can take care of herself. Alright. So basically you're just in a giant drill and you drill through stuff. And... It's a pretty weird idea for a game, but it actually is pretty fun. Which I didn't expect when I first played it. It's a Game Boy Advance game. <laughs> In 2006. The R button is for drilling forward, and the L button, you drill backward. Are you okay, boss? Hmm. You must have sprung a skulker trap and fallen into a pit. Is your drill dozer still in one piece? Boss? Can you hear me, boss? You're still inside your dildos, aren't you? What? You're not. She didn't talk. I've got to get you in your dozer. You can hear me, right? That means it has to be close by. Hop back into it. Hmm. Looks like it can move by itself. I don't think it does that ever again. It takes a lot more than an asphalt to take a drill dozer out of commission. So listen to the engine purr, I built it myself. Alright, he's talking about how he built it. He's saying we should get out of here and find a way to the surface. You tough boss, show him what you got. Your drill dozer is still working, so you should be able to get out of there. Why don't you snoop around a little? Alright, so yeah, as I was saying before, you're in a giant drill and you drill through stuff. L button, you drill forward. L button, drills backwards. Just going to tell you about that. See, it has a little health bar up there whenever you're drilling into something. And that tells you how long it's going to take for that to break. And as I said before, you wouldn't think this would be a fun game from the idea, but it's actually pretty good. And those things are used as money in the game. You can use those to continue if you ever die. That wall that just showed up down there here, if I walk up to it, they'll talk about it. You can't break it. It regenerates its own life after you start drilling. So you need to go up here and get the first gear to your drill, or the second gear. You start with the first gear. After you get the second gear, you're able to go into second gear. Which allows you to drill for a longer amount of time. So then I would go down here, 
And once it gets to the top, you press it again and it goes into second gear. Just collect another one of those money things. And you go through these little vents at the end. It takes you out another vent. So you walk down here. Start drilling people, which is pretty brutal, but it's fun. Just kill everyone. Because they're trying to hit you with hammers. Doesn't seem like a very fair match. The young girl with the drill dozer has broken into our hideout. Don't let her anywhere near the factory on the surface. And then inside these boxes, you get some stuff usually. That gives you more health, I think. Yeah, that restored my health. And you can drill through that and get through. And then these enemies are kind of tough. You usually need to go into second gear to beat them. Let's check out what's down here. Another box, and it had money in it. They're just telling you you can't get through that stuff because it's too tough for your drill right now. So you need to find another way, like through this wall. You can't break through every wall. Only certain specific walls. Usually there'll be cracks in them, but sometimes you'll just find them by mistake. And usually when there's not cracks in them, there'll be something hidden inside, like money. Alright, and here you just drill through everything. I think there's some enemies, but you know, they're pretty easy. You just drill through them. I mean, you're in a giant tank with a drill, and they just have wooden mallets. See, there's a broken wall up there. Just go through there. Shift up. So there's three gears in each stage. Or, two hidden in each stage, but you start with the first one, so I guess technically there's three. And you need to find two gears each time. So, I'm still in the first gear. This thing here, you break through this, and then that thing will grab onto your drill if you start drilling into it. So you watch. And then you let go over here. It's, used to, usually, it's almost always used to transport. And then you break the wall and go through here. Alright, more enemies. The act the enemies can actually be kind of annoying when there's one in front and one behind because they take a long time and you're very open to getting hit when you're drilling into something ahead of you. Let's check out what's up here first before we go in there. See, there's another rechargeable gate, but I can't break it even in the second gear. So, I'm going to need to go find the third gear, which is through here. This first level is pretty easy. This game's not too hard altogether. Alright, there's another one of those things. Let's grab onto it. And now up here. I could drill through those, but it's easier to just go around them. Up here. This doesn't really take you anywhere. It's just money inside it. And money in here, too. Ah, down here there's just, you know, more money because this gang likes to hide money inside their walls and there's the third gear third gear is pretty awesome when you're in third gear you can drill for a really long time they're just telling you third gear is awesome
There you go. Look at how cool that is. Just drilling through everything here. So yeah, the levels are usually pretty easy after you get third gear. And now that I got third gear, I can break through this wall. Also, those enemies right there, they shoot little uh, missiles or something at you. And while you're drilling, you can block them, but if you're not drilling, you take damage. Gotta go down. You can drill down and up and left and right. You can also look by holding down B. You look out, you can look forward, look back. Those aren't really useful though. Looking down, you can see what's below you. Looking up, you can see what's above you. Those are the only useful ones so far. See, that one hit me in the head. It wasn't drilling. I like the music in this game. It really reminds me of like retro game music. It reminds me of the music in like the old Pokemon games, which was also made by Game Freak. See, this is what I was talking about earlier, where two enemies come from different sides, and you usually take some damage in situations like that. There's another health thing, which I needed. You can't go up there because there's a metal block, which I'm assuming you can get a power-up later that'll let you go through there. Now this thing is going to let you out uh, right where you got stuck before, before you had the third gear. See. See, so I've just been drilling with R this whole time, because I mean this is the first level, so they didn't want to put anything too advanced in it, but you can drill with L too, which just drills backwards. It's useful later for solving puzzle type things. Here's the elevator getting back to the surface. It's good there's no one in the elevator. She would have had to drill them. <laughs> Alright, so over to the left is just where you entered. You can't get out there though for some reason. Over here there's a boss. Which isn't too hard. There's a tank up ahead. Try drilling in the hole in its nose. You just gotta dodge its missiles, and then a hole opens up where the missiles come out, and you gotta drill in there. Now, this is kind of weird, but, you know, it's still a fun game. Alright, so, that tank blows up. There's a secret thing up here. I guess it's not that secret, but some people don't see it. You walk through here, and you drill this thing to open the gate. I'm drilling it to the right right now, and that opens it. press B to go through and then there's a wall in the way so then I go over here and see a hole in the wall and this thing I drill to the left to close it you don't need to close it all the way now just until you can get over that wall you know just leave it half open they are the enemy rival gang you don't have to leave their place looking nice these people call and say we'll pick you up so just keep going. Then it shows this little scene where she jumps on the truck. Area cleared. Alright, so then they talk here. They talk about the drill dozer and everything. That doesn't look too good. And there goes the gears that you just collected. You gotta get them again. Whoa, your drill dozer really took a beating. 
Your drill dozer's gears won't last forever, you know. They get worn away over time from hard use. Don't sweat it, though. I'll patch her up as best as I can. And then he patches it up. All fixed up. You're back down to one gear. Just like new, cutie. Guillermo, you can't disrespect your boss like that. You know, the sculptor. Yeah, they're just talking about. That's her dad. He used to be in charge of the gang. And now she's taking over. Because he is in a full body cast. Alright. It's nothing important. They tell you that they stole a diamond. And that's it. Uh, Alright. So thanks for watching. See you next time. Goodbye.